wanted to let you guys know there are a bunch of new EOSs that just came out. Um, the first one I'm going to show you actually is an import from Canada. Don't ask me what I paid to have this imported, because apparently if you're in America and you try to buy from the Canadian website, they won't let you do it for some unknown freaking reason, which is weird, because I've bought from the other international EOS sites before and it let me, but not for this one. I don't know if it's because it's got the Canadian maple leaves all over it and they're like, nope, it's exclusive to us. I have no idea. I had to hit up eBay. Let's put it this way, I, I probably paid at least five times what this thing is worth just to get it, and even at that, it was like the only one that was on there. I tried hitting up Instagram to get somebody to help me do this, and nobody wanted to, so to the eBay. So, <laughs> oh, it's my saving grace. So this one is in Canadian Maple. I'm actually really intrigued to see if this ends up smelling like Sugar Plum or not, because Sugar Plum to me smells pretty much like straight up caramel, which is also very maple-y smelling too. So this could smell like that, or it could be totally different. Could be why we didn't get it in America, they don't want us to know they're reusing flavors. I don't know, but I'm super stoked to have it, finally. It took freaking forever to track one down. It was, it was a challenge. It was a challenge, but I got it. And it's like a true red lip balm too, or a true red packaging anyway, which I've noticed they've not really done with the American ones. We have like almost that color, but not quite. This is slightly pinkier. This is the closest we've gotten to a true red. So what's up with that, Eos? Tell us, what are we doing wrong? Why, why can't we have the real red ones? So anyway, there's that one first and foremost. Then some of you may have seen, and a lot of you may have missed, that Eos did a very different thing on their website recently. For the first time ever, they did a micro batch, which these things sold out in 12 hours flat. That is how highly sought after they were, or how small that batch was. I don't know, but there was not a lot there. I'm trying to bring up the website right now to see if they still have the page there. Um, but it seemed very strange when I got an email from them saying something green comes this way. And this was leading up to 420, so I'm like, there's no way they could be talking about what I think they're talking about. Except that that is exactly what they were talking about. Because I went to the page. They do still have the micro batch page up, actually. Um, hold on, like, two seconds. Um, come on, website. You can do it. So the micro batch website was covered in pot leaves all over it. And I was like... For a brand that they know so many preteens and even children buy from, this struck me as a really strange marketing move, and also something that I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of parents are like, okay, not buying these for my kid anymore after seeing that. Um, I mean, I'm not a parent, but I could see where people would freak out over this, you know? Um, oh, goodness. It just, it was very interesting. Basically, the packaging looks like this. <laughs> so, the website had a freaking countdown timer on it to two days before 420, and it was supposedly two-day free shipping. They lied. It wasn't free shipping. Apparently, there was a code that I didn't see. Um, so, I had to pay, and it didn't get here in two days. So, sucks for me, but I, I didn't care that much. I got them anyway. But... But it had pot leaves all over the site, and even the names of the two flavors. So I was just like, guys, really? So I'm thinking, they wouldn't really make pot lip balms in EOS, would they? Oh, but they did. Uh, they don't have actual THC in them, so you're not going to get high off of them. They have CBD oil in them, which is really hydrating for your lips. It's in a lot of different skincare products. Um, it's actually not that new of a thing. It's hemp oil, so I mean, that's not gonna get you stoned before anybody gets all weird on it, but I just... Interesting marketing move, interesting choice to sell them in baggies like they're drugs. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, honestly, when I opened the box and saw they came in freaking baggies, I about died laughing. So the two flavors are Baked Brownie and Happy Herb. <laughs> Let me tell you about Happy Herb. <laughs> 
I mean, since these aren't sealed in like a carded one, I can put them back in before I do a proper review. So I've smelled these already. Um, let's see here. Our happy herb flavor contains notes of smoky dried hemp, warm cedar wood, and tropical pineapple. Take two swipes and pass. See, they're even making pot jokes on the thing. Uh, what's the buzz? Our ultra-nourishing lip balm with cannabis sativa hemp seed oil soothes and replenishes lips with a hit of 24-hour moisture. Yeah, they keep wanting to use the word hit. I'm noticing. I'm like, stop. Stop it. Oh my goodness. And then the EOS micro batch. The EOS lip balm lab is always innovating and experimenting. Now you can get access to fresh from the lab ideas with our micro batch collections that highlight the coolest trends in lip balm and beyond. Stay connected with us on social to hear when new lip balms drop and how you can get your lips on some. So, interesting to me. Just, if they're going to be this impossible to get in the future, oh my god, these are gonna be like so sought after, let me tell you. Um, because again, these were sold out in 12 hours flat. I've never seen an EOS do that before. Oh god, I know what it smells like. I'm like, I don't want to pull this out again. But I will say for them, to their credit, the plastic baggies they use don't reek like plastic. Thank you for that. As somebody who's very sensitive to that smell, thank you a million times over for that. You did a good job. So here it is. It, it pretty much looks like the, um, the active hydration line. They are super shiny, which I think this is too bright to show. Where is my little thingy? Hold on. Okay. Yeah, you can see better now how shiny that is. Alright. Um, I actually really don't need that on, but this smells like... It's straight up weed, dudes. Like, I will not mince words. I am very well acquainted with what that smells like, and this is straight up that. It, and it's not a good smell. <laughs> I smell no pineapple, it's just straight up pot. <laughs> just, ugh. There's no cedar wood, like, they freaking lied. It, it just, it's straight up pot, guys. So, just throwing that out there. Um, if you were expecting pineapple, you will be disappointed because it's, it's just weed. It's just weed. Oh boy. So it's like, oh Christ. <laughs> I, I can only imagine what that's gonna taste like. Hmm, let, let's think real hard when it smells that heavily of nothing but that. Can't imagine what this is gonna taste like. So the other one is baked brownie. And it it's turned sideways in there. But yeah, our baked brownie flavor contains notes of creamy coconut, toasted hemp, and rich cocoa. The perfect solution for a case of the munchies. It's like, stop with the pot jokes! Stop it! <laughs> oh my god. Um, so this one looks like this. It looks like it should be mint chocolate, honestly, and I kind of hope they reuse this packaging design for a mint chocolate one. I feel like they have, though. Didn't they? Something like it. Not positive, but if they haven't, they should. So, these aren't quite as shiny as when I first got them, so they may have been a tiny bit melty when they arrived, but they seem to have re-solidified just fine. Now this one, I don't get so much of a weed smell off of, thank god. This actually smells like coffee to me. I'm really not getting coconut out of this, so I'm wondering if I might be able to use this one without issue. Because I have a coconut allergy, but... Yeah, I know, I know, I'm playing Russian roulette anytime I do it anyway, but... Mm. But, like, for real, this isn't even chocolate. This is, like, cappuccino. Which is a good scent. I, I like cappuccino, but... Or, like, a vanilla latte, actually. I get that out of it, too, but it's, it is very much a coffee scent. I like it though. Unlike the other one. I like how this one smells. That one... That one kind of makes me want to puke, but... This one's good. So, I mean, if you could only get your hands on one out of these two... Just saying, I, I would say the baked brownie is the one. But, I mean, I kind of had that feeling going in anyway, just for what the names were. I, I pretty much... I knew from the get-go it was gonna smell like weed, even though they're like, No, it's hemp! And I'm like... 
no, you lie. <laughs> it's not hemp, it's weed and you know it. You may have not put the psychoactive drug in the thing, but y you put enough of the thing in there to where it reeks like it. So that brings us to the Flavor Lab ones, and I'm actually really stoked for these, although they're really confusing. Because can we look at the mismatched colors? Like, my OCD is going insane looking at these, like, on Instagram and everything. I was like, but, but the colors, the baby, why did you do that? Like, I want to fix them so bad, but I have to remind myself they go that way. That is correct. Leave them alone, Jen. So, this one is the Lavender Latte with French Vanilla and Sweet Cream. And then the recipe... If you watched my friend mail earlier, I already read all this stuff, but I mean, I'll read it again, and when I review them, I'll read them yet again. So this one is notes of French vanilla, balanced with fresh ground espresso, sweet cream, and a sprinkle of hand-picked lavender. Ah, oh, they do have espresso. I bet that's why the other one smells like coffee. I bet they use some of that in there. Um, a little pick-me-up without the caffeine crash. So that sounds good to me. So we got that one. And we got this one that also has another one of the lavender latte, but also a sweet grapefruit with English rose and heirloom pear, and I am super stoked for that. It's notes of bright pink pomelo with crisp heirloom pear and a hint of English rose. If rainbows had daydreams, they would taste like this. And I'm like, it's so cute! Oh my god, I love it! And then we have watermelon frosé with fresh mint and lime zest. And it has notes of juicy, fresh-off-the-vine watermelon mixed with a cool rush of icy happy hour frosé and a dash of kefir lemon zest, like a watermelon frosé minus the brain freeze. Legit. Legit. My only thing is with these mismatched colors, I'm like, how am I ever going to keep straight what is what? Like, honestly, though. <laughs> this one is lychee martini with tart raspberry and passion fruit. I have a hiccup out of nowhere. Notes of distinctly sweet and tangy lychee martini, the tartness of late summer raspberries, and a juicy splash of passion fruit nectar. Basically a love potion for your lips. It's all really cute. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got this one, which is notes of eucalyptus, fresh spearmint, and oolong tea. I love the colors the best on this one out of all of them. Kind of helps that they're some of my favorite colors. Um, so the recipe is notes of reviving Australian eucalyptus and an energizing spearmint with green hint of Indonesian oolong tea. Kind of like inner peace in a lip balm. No big deal. <laughs> and then finally, this one also has the eucalyptus one on one side and then the other is beach coconut and rich vanilla and sea salt, which... Um, Notes of creamy Thai beach coconuts, rich vanilla, and a dash of pink sea salt, like a love note from a coconut. And those are all of the brand new Eoses that are out right now. Like I said, there's a ton. There's a ton. And that's not counting the ones from the Tropical Collection that just came out, which I've shown you guys already. But I mean, if you missed them, those are also a thing. As well as the Moodstones. So Eos is killing it lately with all of the new releases, and I'm kind of living for it. Um... Wish they weren't doing quite so much coconut at the moment, but I mean, it's not about me. But still, just throwing it out there that they've got so many new releases right now that no matter what your favorite flavor is, they've got something for you. Trust me, they do. So anyways, that is it for this one. Just showing these off again. There will be reviews for these, so don't you worry. Um, anywho, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, go ahead and click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Out of these, what are you most excited to see me review first? Which of these do you have? Which of these do you wish you had? Anything at all? Or just anything about anything, really? Leave it down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Etsy, my Twitter, my Facebook fan page are all down below and more. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway guys, till next time, bye bye.